Hi everybody and welcome back to this very special screencast edition of Total OS Today. Those of you who follow my channel know that I have no shyness when it comes to reviewing an application or a operating system, whether it be Linux based or Windows 7. And those of you must also know that in the past when there has been some negativity and or a certain amount of trash talking concerning certain releases of Linux I have also defended those releases speaking of course as a dual booter between Windows 7 and various releases of Linux such as Zorin, Ubuntu and Linux Mint. Uh, but those of you know that I have defended certain releases in the past especially last year with the release of Ubuntu Unity and Gnome Shell. I thought at the time they were cool, slick looking, if somewhat incomplete. And to be honest, right now, three of my machines has Ubuntu Unity, and two of them I have been able to install also, Gnome Shell, and basically log in and log out to my desktop environment of choice. I have defended those releases in the past, but I couldn't quite understand I think well no I think I understood but I, I just couldn't quite get why some of you guys out there just hated Ubuntu, you know, Ubuntu Unity and Gnome Shell. Uh, I can understand some of it because it was such a complete radical change between you know GNOME 2 and GNOME 3 or GNOME Shell. I understood that, but I couldn't quite get the extensive extreme negativity. And I guess being a, a Windows uh, a 7 dual booter, maybe I just didn't get it. Well, I think I get it now what you were going through. I think I get it now with the release of the Windows 8 consumer preview. Let me just say that this far exceeds my expectations as a beta as a beta and I think in some ways Windows 8 uh, picks up where possibly Ubuntu Unity and Gnome Shell uh, leaves off in terms of their shortcomings and maybe you know Unity and really more Gnome Shell is really what should have been and what I see in Windows 8 and, and I must say, before we take a look at uh, Windows 8 Consumer Preview, I know there's a lot of hard work in developing and releasing any operating system, whether it's, you know, Linux-based or Windows-based. I know there's a lot of work. But, but I must tell you, from what I've seen, tested, and played around with Windows 8 here in the last hour or so, I think Canonical, I, I think the companies behind Ubuntu and Gnome Shell should be ashamed of themselves, really totally be ashamed of themselves for what Microsoft has been able to pull off with Windows 8. Windows 8 really is what Gnome Shell and possibly Unity could have and should have been. All right, enough of that. Let's dive in and take a look at Windows 8 Consumer Preview 64-bit running inside a virtual machine. Stick around, don't go away. All right, this is the main screen here. This is a locked screen. As you can see, you have the time and the date. Very nice, pretty wallpaper. I will tap enter on the keyboard. All right, my name, Toss Today. You have several options here. I can continue with the password. I have the power button here. There's another function here. If I click that, narrator, magnifier, and I'm hearing a person speak in my headset. 
All right, I click the desktop again to get out of that menu. I will just simply type in my password. Now, I adjusted the resolution uh, somewhat here in the virtual box so we can take a look at the main screen. Well, this is one of the main screens. This is the start screen or start menu, how, however you would like to call it. These are uh, tiles, I believe they are called. This is something that I saw last year in the Windows 7 phone, which I thought was kind of cool to use. And with these tiles, of course, with these shortcuts, you can navigate your mouse and go to where you would like to go. For example, store, maps, people, music, so on and so forth. I'll click weather, and it says app preview. This is a beta, of course. Now it's going to run a little bit slow inside a virtual box. That is to be expected. Let me just say that this has been absolutely stellar and stable inside a virtual machine. All right, of course it is nighttime. Well, early morning, 12.22 a.m. I've been having so much fun with this, I can't fall asleep yet. Thank God I'm off tomorrow. All right, the weather forecast. I'm using my mouse gesture, my mouse the mouse wheel specifically to scroll to the right and you can get temperature Doppler radar airport impact historical weather wow this goes on and on I see it stops there so I'm going to scroll the mouse wheel the other way and that's the weather app if I right click I have a shortcut on the top to go to world weather which I have no desire to go to to go to right now I'll click the back button now we have hotspots top right and it'll bring here what you see here is a gnome shell type of box I think it's kinda cool we have the start menu at the bottom we go to the right this will bring up something called I think charms uh, I'm not really sure why they're called charms. Hey, it sounds good to me, right? So I'll just leave it the way it is. We have search, share, start, devices, settings. Go to start. This will bring up the main start screen. Now I am hitting the super bar or the key at the bottom. This, the uh, super button, rather. Sorry, the super button that has the Windows logo. Hit it once, hit it again to go back and forth. Basically a hotkey, kinda cool. Let me click desktop. Now this is your standard Windows 8 desktop I suppose and it has the evaluation copy and the build. Now let me say this, I don't pretend to be an expert on this. I've just been playing with this like I said for about an hour starting to get comfortable with it and so far I do like what I see now let me click the hotkey again back and forth now stick with stick with me with this okay let's pretend gnome 3 gnome 2 gnome 3 gnome 2 with this had been a better way to log into or use a GNOME Shell environment? I think so. How about right-clicking on the desktop? And of course you've seen this before. A lot more customization, uh, a lot more customization functions that you do not get in Unity or GNOME Shell. We have the Windows 8 Super Taskbar or the Taskbar or the Super Bar at the bottom of course with the standard icons here if I right click let's go to properties and the taskbar properties here and uh, ooh, what do we have here let me click top apply well imagine that I can actually move the panel bar the taskbar to the top are you listening gnome shell are you listening Ubuntu Unity? Something simple as the task bar, the task bar, the function which is completely gone in GNOME Shell or Unity. Hey, I enjoy using Unity and GNOME Shell, but Windows 8 has something that you do not. B 
being able to move the panel bar and customization options such as personalize by simply right clicking on the debt on the desk top <laughs> I always said uh, desktop yeah okay stop laughing Spatry <laughs> it's late anyway you've seen this before so let me get out of this now what is notably missing here is the start orb I kinda missed that um, I don't know if I like that or not I like the shortcuts here with the hot corner hot spot as it appears but I think I miss the uh, the start the start button or or the start orb all right against again to the right we have the charms ah, my lucky charms anyway oh let's click settings all right control panel personaliza personalization PC info help we have other options down here including more PC settings let me just click PC info basically system information similar to what you would see you know in Ubuntu Zorn Linux Mint so on and so forth system information basically about my computer okay dual core processor speed 64-bit system and I called my computer name featuring Windows 8 Windows 8 the best maybe a maybe we'll see what happens with the final release but I like what I see so far uh, let me tap the hotkey again okay we've seen this I'm just gonna start typing well what do you know straight to the search bar just by hitting a key now I was gonna tap or type games and Windows 8 instinctively knows I wanna go to games alright let me just click Xbox Live Games app preview okay and of course it is a beta I will click accept by the way I am looking forward to Halo 4 I think Halo 4 kicks major you know what okay well it says here to get the most from this app switch from your local account to a Microsoft account blah 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 and nah, I don't think so thanks though okay we have solitaire and well you what do you know there's a shortcut for Halo Reach one of my favorite games now I'm just using the mouse uh, mouse function or mouse gesture sorry it's getting late here I'm using the scroll wheel scroll wheel to scroll to the right and scroll the opposite way to go to the left and you can click any one of these of course I would have to sign in which I will know you can click any any one of these shortcuts to go to that specific uh, using that specific app to go to the Windows game marketplace now I will not go there but I think you get the picture and how this works navigation ease of use for me at least as a dual booter is not an issue alright again you can go to the hot corner the previous functions that I have used and of course the hot corner to use the charms alright in this situation I just hit the hotkey to go back to my main screen here if I wanted to lock this I can click this click lock and it's locked to get out of this I'm gonna tap enter password okay and go from there let's try one more uh, app or one more uh, shortcut tile and we will wrap this up let's try Windows Explorer all right this will bring up the libraries documents pictures music videos I'm sure you've seen this before this really isn't that much different than Windows 7 I'm, sh I'm, I'm, I'm probably missing something here but let me just say that I like what I see so far the only thing I wish this had is uh, the option of the start button but you know maybe this takes some getting used to let me right click oh, on the super bar let's try properties uh, let me see if I can add something here um, let me see let me see no yeah let's yeah let me click desktop apply okay all right we have a desktop function there we go this will bring a gnome 2 type of menu submenu let me click control panel 
and we have the menu submenu for the control panel once again very easy to use very pleasing on the eyes and I'm sure that the fonts and colors can be adjusted also let me just X out of that let me click the hotkey again all right I think you guys uh, get the picture hotkey gnome 2 maybe hotkey gnome shell this would have been a cool feature in unity and or possibly gnome shell to make the transition to have made the transition possibly a little bit easier for you guys who are diehard Linux fans of a certain type of desktop environment all right let me close this out by saying this I am pleasantly surprised how stable this is in beta form in a virtual machine um, I have no problem navigating to this very pleasing on the eyes I think the the, the boxes the uh, the shortcuts or the tiles as you see here are fine are fine I'm assuming that these are you know these can be customized also also I enjoy the fact the fact that I can click the hotkey and go from one desktop to another the only thing I miss right now that's a little bit um, I don't want to say disturbing that's that's not the right word a little bit you know unfriendly I guess for lack of a better word I think I would like the start button here although the hot corners are perfectly fine and and the shortcuts here to the right the charms are perfectly fine also I don't have a problem with that but I think what I see here this is what possibly you know gnome shell or at least some of the characteristics some of the functionality of this would have been nice to see in Ubuntu unity or really probably you know norm shell and gnome shell and it appears that you know Windows 8 has picked up some of the gnome shell functions which I don't have a problem with at all in a word wow uh, I think Microsoft is in the right is on the right track I mean this this sneak preview really in my opinion is um, is just immaculate uh, it works fine um, I have no problem uh, if I was in the market for a new PC next year I would have no problem buying a Windows 8 PC all I could say to Microsoft great job you know and maybe bring the start button back you know you know old habits are hard to break as are for some I suppose in the Linux community from the complete switch over from GNOME GNOME 2 to GNOME 3 alright guys that's my take on Windows 8 consumer preview I guess the beta before the final release um, I'm getting tired. It's 12:30 in the a.m. here. I'll do some editing with this and upload it to the channel. I like what I see. Um, I think Microsoft is on the right track. This appears stable. I have really haven't uh, no noticed any glitches. That probably only scratched the surface as far as Windows 8 Consumer Preview is concerned. If if somebody from Microsoft watches this, hey. As a Windows dual booter, I think probably Linux and Microsoft can probably learn from each other in terms of making a completely user-friendly operating system. Great job. I like what I see, and I will keep this in my virtual machine. Thank you, Microsoft, for really <laughs> releasing a nice preview. That's it. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, you know, I will catch you guys sometime in your Linux or maybe Windows 8 future. Thank you.